So this was a case we did a combination of brackets and Invisalign. And here's what we did. We used the last attachment and we buried the wire into the attachment and we cacked the lower tray right at that attachment so there's no aligner distal to that. What it is, is a bracket on the seven. Here's now the beauty of fixed orthodontics. As long as you have a little bit of enamel to stick something to it, you're done, right? And I do what I call an uprighting spring. This is what the uprighting spring is all about. It's a wire that I bend, circle, that goes straight down with a hook. Okay, all I have to do is take that hook and hook it on the main arch wire. And that spring is going to want to basically do a sidewinder, but to upright a molar. So I created my own sidewinder. Does that make sense? So this is passive. This is active. Did it work? Let's find out. Second appointment. We put a separator to push it back. Look where we are now with a separator. And now we have such a great alignment. We put a night eye. Because now I get it so close. I don't have to worry about a spring anymore. I can get the night eye to go through. Right? This is the same appointment without aligners. See, now I have my 20 night eye, the bracket check type of appointment without brackets, going through the seven and the six. And you can see right here, see the aligner stopping distal of that premolar? So she still maintains alignment and continuation of movement up front, but I get that night eye on both sides to now start working. Well, here's the tooth. Let's look at the other side. Look at that. Look at the position. See how I can see the occlusal table of the seven? And this is now smacked up against the upper. Okay?